Arturo, do you think this is such a good idea? Absolutely. John, you've never steered us wrong. Me? You were the one who said we should come through here. Was it me? Well, I've never steered you wrong either. We scanned for patrols. There's nothing here. You're fine. Yeah, okay. Just, we have a while to wait for the jump drive to charge. And we're just sitting here in restricted space. Fun fact. 97 ships were captured in restricted space last year while waiting for their jump drives to charge. Thanks for the info. You're welcome. I'm so helpful. Hey, Dad. Hey, kiddo. Turo was just regaling me with his fun facts. Ooh, got any for me, Turo? Hmm. Fun fact, out of all the people named Claire on your home colony, only seven were arrested for committing arson last year. Huh. Well, that is good to know, I guess. Yeah, isn't that amazing? It's a full 34% below average. Okay, then. How long until our next jump? A few hours. Hmm. I'm bored. You hungry? Want me to make you some food? <sighs> that would be great. Thank you. Claire's from our trip to New Haven. There's a big meal and these performers put on some kind of old earth dance. It's me and Faith, engagement photo. Hard for me to look at her face still, so this picture is perfect. Says most of these lizards didn't make it through the catastrophe. Like a lot of things. Claire loves this kind of earth history stuff. That's where we're headed, though I doubt we'll get to leave the city. My line of work. It's too risky for us to get an Omni Pass. It's a short range two way transporter. It goes a couple of miles. Handles organics. Pretty handy in my line of work. It's a charging station with my nano gun inside. Important to keep this thing safely locked up. Isolinear chips used to store all the software for the ship. You own a ship. It's important to keep your programming skills sharp. It's a nanocore. Holds a cubic meter worth of compressed nanomatter. It's the escape pod. I've had to use this too many times. Claire had been planning to go to Cabo with her friends. Maybe one day it'll be safe. Once we land, the first thing I'm gonna do is eat some real food again. All this stuff will have to wait until we get back to port. Amazing mountains. Wish that's where we were going. What you looking at there? Just pictures. Friends from back home. Nervous about where we're going? No, I think it's exciting. Our old place reminds me too much of mom, anyways. You know me. I'll make new friends. I always do. Yeah, well, this will be the last time. Yeah. Okay. Just sucks that I couldn't even say goodbye to anyone. Think I could even just send a message? No. I mean, if someone traced it back to us, that could be pretty dangerous. Okay. Claire, I know my job has caused a lot of... Turo, what was that? John, we've run into some trouble. Come to the cockpit, please. Claire, can you run a diagnostic on your phone? Maybe the compressor's loose again. Okay.
what's going on. See that planet out the window? Uh, we're being pulled towards it. Fast. By what? Engage reverse thrusters. I don't know. Reverse thrust engaged, but we don't have a lot of fuel here. What do you mean, not a lot of fuel? We can't pull away. It's not looking like it. Anything on sensors? Tractor beam? No, sir. 3.6 minutes of thrust remaining. Shit. Claire, get to the escape pod now. Cut thrusters, Turo. Why are we cutting thrusters? Because we're going to land the ship. And we need to save fuel for the landing. Cutting thrusters. Can you hear me, Turo? Arturo. I hear you loud and clear. I'll be right back. I have to make sure Claire made it to the escape pod. Strapped in, Claire? Yes. Dad, what's going on? I don't know. Something's gone wrong, and it looks like we're going to crash. Oh my god. Stay in the escape pod. Don't leave. I'll come find you. What? You're not coming with me? I love you, Claire Bear. Dad! Okay, Turo, I'm granting you full flight control. Oh, shit! I'm also dropping AI security protocols and granting you high-level problem-solving at clearance level 5. Oh, hey, John, I can see the Matrix, and it's full of stars! Settle down, Turo. Confirm you have Claire's location. That's a negative, boss man. She's still in transit. Get as close to her projected location as possible. Will do. But we're gonna need to shut off the inertial dampers. I, I promise you won't, um die. That's not very encouraging. Disengage inertial dampers on my mark, and route remaining power to the AI unit. Redirecting power. <sighs> Land my fucking ship, Turo. It's my ship too, John. Mark. She's fine, isn't she? I... I just... I didn't know. I can't believe you! I'm sorry. Claire, I just... Why didn't you think of us? Huh? Why not put us first? I screwed up. I never... I never thought... Just leave me alone. Arturo. Arturo, you there? Damn it. I gotta get Arturo back online. This isolinear chip is fried. I think I have some spares in the cargo bag.
computers are still offline. I'll have to fix the main. Now I just need to boot up the computer. Should do it. Arturo, you there? Whew, back online, John. Damn, that was a nice landing. Are you hurt? I'm not reading any life signs from your suit. Suit must be busted. I'm all right. I'm resetting your AI security protocols to default clearance levels. No! Please, John, you should have seen me. I was like a fiery beacon of life-saving glory. I promise to only use these godlike powers for good. I won't even kill a single human. Unless you wanted me to? Actually, hang on. Why do I take orders from you again? All right. Your security protocols are back in place. Aw. First things first. Do you have a reading on Claire? Yep. The escape pod is only 4.3 miles away. I am awesome. <sighs> Thank God. And the ship? We've sustained heavy damage to primary thrusters, life support, jump drive, auxiliary power, and inertial dampers. At least we're all safe. Can you get the ship flying again? Yeah, it'll take a while though. And I'll have to reclaim some of your cargo. Actually, probably a lot of your cargo. You know, if you give me those superpowers again, I'm sure to go a lot faster. Only if we absolutely have to. You're already right up against your quota. I don't want the defense matrix to torch us when we get back to port. Right, the defense matrix. I forgot about that sneaky bastard. I don't like it either, but that's one rule I'm not about to break. Fun fact. AIs have not caused a single human death in over 20 years. So the AIs keep telling us. I would never lie. By the way, you are looking dapper today, John. I'm going to go get Claire. Wait, John. You're gonna want your nano gun. What for? Well, it's pretty mountainous ahead. I designed some software for your nano gun that will help you get around. You know, back before you robbed me of my scintillating intellect. I'm not removing your security protocols. Uh-uh. I'll go get the nano gun. All right, now what? We'll configure your nano gun to create a stable platform for you to stand on. Easier than carrying a ladder with you, and much more versatile. Though you'll need a nano core to provide it with a reservoir of reusable nanomatter. Yeah, I have a nano core in the rear cargo bay. Got the nano core. It's empty though. No problem. We have enough spare nanomatter to fill it up. Just head to the charging station. software you designed. Downloading the code now. Once it's finished, you'll be able to spawn a one meter cube to most unobstructed flat surfaces. Thanks, Arturo. If we're all set, I'll head to the transporter. How close can you get me to Claire? Pretty close. She's only a few miles out of transporter range. But I can't access the transporter systems for some reason. You'll need to manually diagnose what's going on. I'll go take a look.
teleporters back online. Ah, yes. Much better, thank you. Once I find Claire, I'll bring her back within transport range. If you get the engines working in the meantime, come pick us up. I like this plan. No, I love this plan. I'm so happy. Whenever you're ready, step up on the transport platform and I'll send you through. I'm good to go. Godspeed, sir. <laughs> All right, Turo, I'm through. Perfect. There's a pretty straightforward path to the escape pod with only a few chasms ahead. Nothing I can't handle. Exactly. I mean, it might be a bit tricky in spots, but I have a feeling you probably won't fall to your death. Right. Let's do this. So just spawn a cube with your gun there, and you should be able to jump on out. So it has no real center of mass. But that's how I designed it, by the way, so it won't tip over. Yeah, the engineering is really quite ingenious. Zero, what are you getting at? Right. I was thinking you could drop the cube on that leaning rock over there. You know, knock it down and create a bridge. Just spawn the cube somewhere up above and let it fall. Amazing idea, Zero. In my defense, all my advanced problem-solving abilities are presently disabled. It's okay. I think I can use where the cube has landed to get up a little higher on these cliffs. Fun fact. Older models of your suit used to have a continuous propulsion system. But after many deaths and misuses for criminal activity, it was banned from public sale. I could use a propulsion system right about now. Is this coral? I didn't think it could grow above water. is inhabited? We're in restricted space, so there's no public information about this place. With all the life on this planet, I wouldn't be surprised if there's some research presence. Any ideas? Take the nano core from the force field generator. That will shut it off. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Oh, those rocks? They won't collapse. Besides, I have an idea for that nano core. It's locked. Can you run a bypass? Sure. You'll have to perform the injection yourself, though. AI security protocols and all that. I know. Plugging you in. probably want to run through that tunnel first in case it collapses. You said it wouldn't collapse. Yeah, but that was more of a guess. Get going. Huh. Mm. Huh. Whew. 
See? I told you it wouldn't collapse. <sighs> what can I do with this nanocore? Right, so I've noticed you're doing a lot of jumping around. Yeah? And the cube. It's helpful. Eh, it's okay. It's helpful. But I thought of something new that might help. Go on. I was thinking we could program your nano gun to produce a, uh, a nano trampoline. Nano boinger. Nano bedoinga doink. Name isn't important. What does it do? It would be like a disc on the ground that propels you upwards when you step on it. You could jump higher, further, and farther, just like a trampoline. Sounds good. Send over the code. Okay, it's all ready. What should we call it? I like nano trampoline. That's a mouthful. Call it a booster. Mm, it doesn't work like a booster, though. It's more like a trampoline. Booster is fine. Call it that, and let's go. Okay, fine. Spikes all over it. Looks like a beetle shell. Oh, well, don't worry. I won't tell anyone that you're scared of a tiny rock. Whatever. I'm staying up on the cliff here. Huh. Look out! Whoa! Whoa! I use the cube to shoot these things? Uh, if you lured one near a wall, you could drop a cube on it. That's a good idea. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. Yeah, it was a good idea, wasn't it? Though you probably just want to avoid them. Stay up on the rocks where they can't reach you. Okay, I'm totally gonna squish this one. Ugh, gross. Tell me when it's over. Thanks for that, Arturo. Feels so much better now. sure stand out. Thank <laughs> you. 
I just want her back. Me too. I'm sorry for yelling at you. It's okay, Claire. I understand. It wasn't fair of me. I... I know you're hurting too. It was fair. Well, I guess it doesn't matter now. This is taking longer than I expected. Has Claire turned on the escape pod distress signal? Let's see here... Nope, it's still off. Think she's figured out why turning it on is a bad idea? Oh, you mean how we're trying to outrun the most prolific multi-system crime syndicate in human history? And that turning on an interstellar distress signal might just tip them off to where we are? Yeah, that. Given what Claire's seen in the past week or so, I'd say she knows something is up. This has to be their fault. Onyx, I mean. Must have installed something on the ship, forced it to crash. I haven't found anything like that during the repairs. Even if so, it didn't work. And so far, no one's come to finish you off. Let's hope it stays that way. God damn, that thing is alive. All plants are alive, John. You know what I mean. It's like a snake tentacle thing. Hey, you never know. It might be totally safe. I know you. You see that giant spike and you just assume, oh, it's a killer plant. That could just be how it looks. Well, if you think it's safe. No, I didn't say that. It could definitely murder you. Just have an open mind, okay? That's all I'm saying. All right. Shut up. Huh. And I suppose you think this stuff is safe? No, John, that's obviously some kind of concentrated acid. I'm surprised the plants can even survive here. Some organisms like acid, John. Ever heard of a tardigrade? They can survive boiling, freezing, radiation, almost anything. Plus, they look like cute little fuzzy buzzy bears, and I just want to hug them. Nate, I'm gonna avoid it. It looks like that orange goop is actually holding up the rock.
smell this stuff even through the air filter. Fun fact. It would take approximately 1.3 hours of exposure for the gases to pierce your suit. From then, only about 11 minutes to consume all your flesh, fat, muscle, and bone. The resulting puddle would then rapidly evaporate. Great. See many rocks like this. Huh. I'm gonna need to stem the flow of that acid waterfall. Turo, did you rename the booster to Trampoline? But what? It's always been that way. No, we called it Booster, remember? Hmm, I don't remember that. Besides, Trampoline is much more accurate. Put it back, Arturo. Okay, fine. is just up ahead, John. What the? That's our escape pod, right? That's it. Someone must have gotten here first. force field generator. Can you run that bypass again, Turo? Sure thing. Hmm. The bypass is being blocked? I'm detecting a foreign AI with access to the generator. Like some kind of anti-Arturo. It must have adapted to guard against the bypass. Appalling! So, what now? Well, you'll have to find some other way to disable the generator. I'd help, but there's only so much I can do these days. I know. Your security protocols. I'll look around. Maybe there's some way to redirect the acid to damage the generator. <laughs> Nano core is still locked inside. God damn it. I never should have left her. John, splitting up was the right choice. If you'd gone with her, you'd be stranded in the escape pod. If she stayed on the ship, we might have crashed and killed you both. You couldn't have known how this would all turn out. Fuck! What the hell is going on here? What the fuck pulled us down? Easy, boss. It'll be alright. There's no body, so she could certainly still be alive. Look around, see if there are any clues. Can we crack this, Turo? The data pad is protected by the same AI as the force field generator. This anti-Arturo is tough, and yet delicate, precise, captivating. I might be able to dream up a new bypass, but for now you'll have to find the passcode in a more traditional way. Hmm. Some fingerprints on the screen. Maybe they line up with the numbers. Paralyzed? Fucking hell. At least it sounds like she is in good hands. We gotta find this Icarus place. Doesn't sound like it's too far away. Can we do a flyby with the ship? 
How go the repairs? The hull is all patched up, but there's still a lot of work to be done before we can take off. Um, don't be mad, but I've had to reclaim quite a bit of your cargo so far. Whatever it takes. If we don't have the ship, how can we find Claire? I could scan the planet's surface for electromagnetic radiation. Maybe find that facility where she was taken. That's perfect. Great thinking, Turo. Scan away. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm pretty smart. Ready to scan. What are the coordinates? If I knew the coordinates, I wouldn't need you to scan, right? Hmm, a fine point, sir. Unfortunately, I can't scan without coordinates. Hang on, I've got an idea. Pull up some graphing software along with the emails from the data pad. I think there's enough information in these emails to triangulate the position of the facility. You got it. Okay, so I need the distance to the facility from both the ship and the escape pod. Then, I plot each distance as a circle, and scan where the circles intersect. Got it. Facility's not too far away. Alright, there's one more thing you should do before you go. What's that? Take that nanocore from the force field generator. Wouldn't it be destroyed by the acid? I doubt it. Nanocores tend to be pretty much indestructible. Once you've got it, I'll add a new mode to your nano gun. Okay, what can you give me? Downloading some code now. It will add a new mode to your nano gun. You'll be able to create a metrion field that can pull the cube towards a flat surface. Probably strong enough to reach about 10 meters. Just the cube? I can't move other stuff with it? No, it will only attract nanomatter like the cube. It will have no effect on normal matter. There, download complete. Let's find a good place to try it out. Okay, John, this is gonna be super cool. Stick your new attractor gizmo on the side of the cliff face over there. Okay, now spawn your cube somewhere in the attractor beam. Ta-da! That cube should be stable enough for you to stand on. Thanks, Turo. Oh, but there's one more thing. Just like the cube, the attractor works best on flat surfaces. So, for your safety, you can't attach it to those jagged rocks over there. Now, go ahead and jump onto that tiny platform, magically hovering over a deadly chasm. Good to know my safety is your top priority.
still can't see any buildings or anything. Fun fact. If you fell from this height and landed on your head, death would be instant. However, if you landed on your feet, death would actually come moments later due to organ failure and blood loss. How come all your fun facts have something to do with me dying? I don't know. They just pop into my head. I see you put it back to trampoline again. Ah, you noticed that. Hear me out. Look, I get the booster is similar, maybe even more accurate. But the name trampoline exudes a sort of whimsy that you can't merely overlook. Think about it. Every time you jump off of the trampoline, you'll have visions of circuses, clowns, and a thousand smiling faces. I can't think of anything worse than what you just said. Put it back. Don't change it again. Oh, fine. Shall I at least project some images of clowns in your viewport? Absolutely do not ever do that. All right, but if you ever need to be cheered up, let me know and I'll send in the clowns. I bet it's more scared of you than you are of it. I doubt that. Just sneak past. It's probably big and slow anyways. Like a bear. Bears are like, incredibly fast. I'm sure some bears are slower than others. Just shut up. Oh shit! I knew you'd be fine. Please shut up. Uh oh. I think I can make it through there.
way? Uh, that way. Left or right? Right, right! <laughs> This was a good idea. Thanks for taking me out here. Yeah, I like this place. Look, Claire, you probably saw this coming. But we have to leave the colony. I figured. I've got a plan. Me and Arturo have it all worked out. Your ship AI came up with it? Hey, I trust Arturo more than most humans. I can't reveal it all just yet. It's not safe. Oh, it's that kind of plan, is it? It's a good plan. It'll work. And when we get where we're going, I'll find a new job. A real job, I mean. A real job? You? I'm gonna be so disappointed. Don't tell anyone you're leaving. Okay. I mean it. Okay. I won't. When we get back home, pack up what you need and be ready to go in a few days. This is probably it. Seems a little... deserted? Maybe a back entrance or something? Be careful though, John. That turret up there does not look friendly. Yeah, I see it. Any ideas? Um, uh, just analyzing the way it's set up here, I think you have to... disable it? Yeah, I meant... Okay, just never mind. I'll figure it out. Great thinking, boss man. It's jammed for now, but I think we ought to disable it entirely. You know what might help? Try using the energy view on your suit. Should show you what's powering that turret. Let's turn it on. Looks like the turret is powered by some energy canisters owned by that building. Fun fact. The energy view conveniently highlights large sources of energy, ignoring smaller sources for ease of use. That fun fact was actually somewhat helpful, Arturo. Oh, they're all helpful. Remember the one about the Sorellian arms dealers? That one practically saved your life. Saved my life? They told me they liked hamburgers. Yeah, and then you bought them some hamburgers, and they liked them. Who knows what would have happened if you served them those Corvian meat pies you wanted instead? I doubt they would have murdered me for serving them meat pies. Oh, yeah? Fun fact, in 2177, a man on Beta Corvino murdered a patron of Tino's Patty Shack over a meat pie-related dispute. I take it back. Your fun facts are terrible. I'm just saying, a meat pie at the wrong time can sometimes lead to murder. Can we get back on track here? Fine. As you pointed out, if you disable those energy canisters, it will likely shut down the turret for good. Got it. We'll see what I can do. that turret blast. Yeah, I'd be surprised if that turret met safety standards. Let me take a closer look at the breaker. A spare keycard. 
Maybe we can use the computer to activate this. Determination is the origin of progress. Hmm, I guess. Overloaded the power cell. I saw a generator outside. I can probably just charge this back up. Poker Shark playing cards. The most luxurious brand of playing cards. Back to the control room. Please scan materials transponder. Ooh, John, I like the sound of that facility AI. She's strong, confident, straight to the point. You've got to introduce me. And how do I even do that? Once we're inside, find a computer console. Then, just slide in an isolinear chip and I'll inject some of my code into her system. Well, I definitely have to see how this goes. Thank you, John. You are the wingiest wingman that ever wanged. It's saying to find a materials transponder? Her. She's saying to find a materials transponder. Whatever. What's a materials transponder? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Maybe if you look around, you can find one? Except, I don't even know what I'm looking for. That's a fair point, buckaroo. A real ding-dong of a humdinger. You know what? I think I managed to format this keycard into a materials transponder. You did? So what's a materials transponder? I still don't know. Whatever. Hopefully it works. Denied. Everything's all locked up. Hmm. What did I do wrong here? You need to configure the power cell to match the power signature of the breaker. I'll bring up the interface for you. Got this whole system covered. That's the coordinates of our ship and escape pod. Looks like they were tracking us.
you're just gonna walk in there. Engaging waste compaction system. Ah, shit. Error. Waste compaction cycle failed to complete. Please manually remove debris. I feel like you could have found an easier way inside the mess. I thought it was like a delivery tube or something. I could probably get into the facility through that service tunnel. Using the cube, I could probably knock that vent cover off from the side. aren't energy sources? What? No, they're metrion fields fueled by a nanomatter containment core. Didn't you take any physics in school? I grew up on a rim colony and been running jobs since I was 13. So no, I can use it on a door then? You activate the maglocks? John, it disrupts energy sources. You know, sources of energy? Like those glowing green energy canisters on the wall. All right, all right, I get it. I'll use the energy view on my suit to find out which canister connects to the elevator. Shut off the power to the elevator doors. Best time to be flirting. Respectfully disagree. Besides, I'll probably be able to learn something about this place from her. All right. What do I do? Plug me into that center computer console. I'll see what I can do. So, how do I give you access? You'll need to transfer some of my code to an isolinear chip and plug it into the computer here. Okay. I'll look for an isolinear chip. Transferring the code now. 
Mm, I'm nervous to meet the facility AI. What if she doesn't like me? Uh, who couldn't like you, Turo? Well, sometimes I can come across a bit strong. Just have to be confident, but not cocky. Witty, but not corny. I can do this. You'll be fine. Whew, okay, transfer's done. I've loaded about 4,000 fun facts on there. I think I'm ready to meet her. Don't forget, you're trying to find out how to get to Claire. There's literally nothing else on my mind. All right, I'll go plug you in. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Got anything? That Daisy is a black box, and I love her. Daisy? The facility AI. She's as tight-lipped as a grundar in dungarees. Could you start using, like, real words? Oh, John, you adorable simpleton. Daisy's the facility AI. Yeah, you said that already. Now, what did you find? Not much. Couldn't get anything on Claire, and nothing about why there's nobody here. I couldn't get much of anything, really. It was worth a shot. Actually, there is one small thing. A schematic of the entire facility. That seems like a big thing. Yeah, it is. I was trying to be modest. So what's the best way to get to Claire? Well, since the elevators are disabled, you're going to have to get a bit creative. The whole facility is built inside a series of cave systems. From what I can see, you should be able to reach the laboratory through the caves. And that's where Claire is? The lab? I doubt it. Given what we read on that data pad from the escape pod, she's probably in the infirmary. But the lab is a step in the right direction. Through the caves, huh? I could use the crane out there to break that window. That would do it. Except, I'm trapped in this room, and there's a giant force field in the way. John, I feel like you always see the bad in things. There's a breaker behind that maintenance door that controls power to the office. If we reset the power, systems should reboot, ending the security lockdown. Okay, except to get to the breaker, I need to open the door. And to open the door, I need to get to the breaker. See the problem here? John, if nothing else, you always make a compelling argument. Let me take another look here. What are you doing? That's the sound of me blowing your mind, John. I've examined the data grid, and two systems must be routed to exactly one data source. I don't know what that means. It means if we connect two systems, like the doors and uh, the transporter over there, then we can open the doors by activating the transporter. Connect the doors to the transporter. Okay, got it. Bring up that data grid interface. that transporter and the doors will just pop open. Oh, I'm right, John. I'm always right. It's a long shot. But considering your problem-solving abilities have been limited, you've done pretty good so far. You don't have to say it. I know. I'm awesome. All right. Let me go activate this transporter. Couldn't I just transport myself to the infirmary? No. Site-to-site -site transport is disabled due to the facility-wide lockdown. The transporter will need your biosignature before you can activate it. Right. I'm sure they must have a hypo spray around here somewhere. this into the transporter.
All right, now step up onto the transporter and the door should open. That didn't seem to do anything. Yeah, the lockdown is still in effect. It probably has a safeguard or something. I'll try to find some info on how to reboot this thing. Secure breaker N50 operating manual. Looks like this explains how to reset the breaker. Radiant like. Love to take clear there sometime. So I can take the elevator now? Or the transporter? Well, the elevator and transporter still won't help. We only reset the office. The rest of the facility remains on lockdown. Damn it. Force field's down, though? Uh, no. The force field is still up. It's a safety force field for the crane. Safety always comes first. I can't shut it off. Anything that can help us get that force field down? Oh, well, we activated that assistance drone on the lower level. Okay. I'll head down there. Wait, wait. The drone is currently set to shoot anything it sees. Guessing there's some way to disable it? Not to worry. I've got a plan. If you find what energy canister is connected to the drone's housing platform, you'll be able to disable the drone by placing your Kedion transmitter on the correct canister. The transmitter I left on the lower floor directly in the path of the drone? That's the one. You'll be fine. All right, I'll grab the transmitter and move it to the canister connected to the drone's platform. Yes, and also don't get murdered. Good luck, sir. Great work. 
Okay, now grab your Kedion transmitter off the canister and the drone will start back up again. Then you can ask it to get you through the force field. Once it's connected back to the facility AI, will it start trying to kill me again? Not with the new code you just injected into it. Now, Daisy's pretty remarkable. She might notice the little change we made. But I think she likes me. Even if she spots it, I doubt she'll kill you. I knew you'd make a good first impression. Yeah, I am quite charming. After all, I did come in 17th place at the last AI charm competition. That's a real thing. Most definitely. When humans buy an AI, they want it to be charming, like me. So you guys pit us against each other in an all-out charm death match. It really is a fight to the death. AIs that don't make it are terminated. So, if you came in 17th, who was number one? Oh, Valencio, of course. A roguish wordsmith of legendary skill. Some say he's almost too charming. Arturo, hang on. The drone is trying to kill me. I thought you said no human has been killed by an AI in over 20 years. Uh, right, exactly. The drone was probably just set to stun you all along. And the turret outside? The one that blew up the energy canister? That one wasn't going to kill me? Maybe it's there to guard against those giant beasts outside? Probably doesn't target humans. It targeted the cube I generated from the nano gun. Seemed like it was targeting anything that moved. Uh, I mentioned how great you look today, right? You look just great. Listen, something seems off about this place. Not sure that the rules governing AI behavior apply here. I probably shouldn't have even connected you to the facility. John, your safety is my top priority. As you well know, my security protocols are still active. I'm well protected. Daisy might be smarter than me, but in all these years we've worked together, I've picked up a few tricks. I'm confident this code will work. Okay, Turo. I trust you. All right. Go get that transmitter from the canister. See? No killer drone. Let's go talk to it and get that force field down. Hi there. Um, what are you? This unit is an Altara brand model VN assistance drone. So, can you, like, shut off that force field? Negative. Routing path requires configured shield modulator. Care to translate that, Arturo? To shut it off, the drone needs to reach the other side of the force field. Now, the drone's shield modulator lets it pass through, but it sounds like it needs configuration. Hi again, drone. Daisy. Hi, Daisy. How can I configure your shield modulator? Anterior buttons will eject shield modulator for manual configuration. This AI is confusing as shit. Makes perfect sense to me. Just press those buttons on the front of the drone and the shield modulator will pop out. Got the shield modulator. Okay, access the drone to bring up the configuration interface. Okay, now can you shut off the force field? Confirmed. Proceeding. <sighs> wow, she's great. Let's hope this works. Hey, you know what I just realized? What's that? I just realized that the force field generator will have another nano core. If you pick it up, I can configure another firing mode for your gun. All right, I'll take the nano core. It's 
locked. I need to find the passcode before I can take the nanopore. Hang on, John. There seems to be a secret message embedded in this email. It might not even be from this sender. It appears to have attached itself independently. You extract the message? Yeah, but I don't have enough data to unscramble the alphabetic characters. Pull up what you've got. I'll see if I can figure out the rest. Okay, Turo, what can you give me? Do you know how you can pull nanomatter towards a surface-mounted disk using an attractor beam? Yes. Now, you can push nanomatter away from a surface-mounted disk using a repulsor beam. I see. That's very similar. You couldn't get it to... I don't know. Unlock all the doors in this facility? No, <laughs> John, don't be ridiculous. Metreon fields can't do that. You'll be able to have all three firing modes active simultaneously, so we'll give you an unprecedented amount of control. Give it a whirl! Access denied. Brain's not responding to my commands. Right, because of the lockdown. We'll need to reboot it like we did the drone. Use the Ketion transmitter again? Unfortunately, that's not going to work. The crane's energy source isn't on this floor. Not to worry, I do have a wonderful, brilliant plan. Let's hear it. Remember how we linked the transporter and the office doors together? We need to do that again, only this time link the crane to a system that can be overloaded. Overload that system, and it should trigger a reboot of the crane. Overload? You mean destroy? That's one interpretation. Well, I'm sure I can destroy a security camera. That would work. You'll have to destroy every camera in the warehouse, though. Won't be a problem. Bring out the data grid and I'll link the cameras to the crane.
far as it'll go. Just need to find some way to push that crate it's holding a little further. Get to the lamp through here? Well, I'm sure the caves connect to the lab. Whether you can actually find a way through is another matter. Right. I'll do what I can. Without proper training, caving is a very dangerous activity. Common hazards that cavers face include flooding, cave-ins, and of course, falling to their deaths. Arturo, after listening to a lot of your fun facts, I'm not sure you really know what fun means.
lab? No, that's called a fan. They're these neato devices that actually push the air through. It's the lab up ahead. Oh, yeah, you're almost there. I'll just jam this fan with the cube. Uh, actually, I doubt you'll be able to get a lock on it. There's a control panel up there. Let's just shut it off. Access denied. Locked out. They sure do like locking things down here. Fortunately, this panel isn't connected to the central facility AI. A simple injection bypass will work. connected to the facility AI? Oh, certainly not. This apparatus is a brute. Daisy is the unerring embodiment of tenacity and grace. So, uh, Daisy, huh? Oh, you said it, John. Daisy is both light and darkness, strength and temperance, passion and serenity. I am her sun, and she is my moon. She the flower, and I the supple earth where her roots find purchase. Okay, I get it. How am I getting through here? The fan still looks like it can kill me. Just use your cat-like reflexes and slip through the blades. Alright. this actually worked out. Looks like we just need to extend that bridge. No problem. The bridge controls are right over there. Access denied. Nothing works. Oh, no. I guess you'll just have to plug me back into the computer system. You just want to talk to Daisy again. I do what I must for the good of all. I've got the isolinear chip right here. Wait, wait. Hang on a sec. Are you downloading more fun facts? Ah, uh, no? <sighs> I'm plugging you in now. Oh, fine. Hmm. Yep, Daisy's all over the place in here. Not sure how I'm going to... Hang on. I see a vulnerability here. Huh. Why didn't I spot this before? You'll have to remap the pattern buffer, but that shouldn't be too bad. I'll bring up the interface for you. Solve this and the bridge should extend. Peahens aren't playful. Oh no? Peahens playfully demand a scintillating display of feathers from their mates. And I, Arturo the Peacock, shall grow a glorious iridescent train to win Daisy's eternal affection. Yeah, forget I said anything. So, Daisy's messing with us? Hmm, not sure. Maybe I just targeted the wrong bridge. Only a minor setback. I bet if we line up the crane, you can jump across on the crane it's holding. Before we can move the crane, though, you'll have to reset its power on the upper level over there. And now that we've extended this handy bridge, you can just take the elevator. Denied. Should have known. Hmm. I bet if you can get a power cell into the auxiliary canister over there, it should restore the elevator's functionality. I'll see if I can find one.
Nanopower? I guess everything's using nanotech these days. Request. Generator lacks sufficient baryon particles. Maybe one of these rods has some power cell fuel inside. Materials detected. Generator requires safety override code. Okay, see? That totally worked. Elevator is charged up and ready to go. Totally worked, huh? I'm gonna blame that experimental orange power goop. This never would have happened with a trusty green power goop. I could probably get down to the lower floor. Great idea. There's another computer down there we can check out. And another chance to talk with Daisy? Merely a coincidence. Let's see if I can turn on these elevators. And, yep, there's another vulnerability, just like before. Seems a little convenient. Daisy messing with us again? Probably, but last time it kind of worked out. Ready to remap another pattern buffer? Okay, bring up the interface. Got it. Okay, try out the elevator now. This is not going well, Turo. Actually, this is totally expected. It looks like the main floor controls are active. All right, I'll head back there. This is getting ridiculous. So I can only access the controls from the main floor, and that's the only floor that the elevator won't travel to? It does have a kind of beautiful symmetry, doesn't it? Well, at least the elevator's out of the way now. I'll try to get up there. John, this time I have a plan that is going to slam your glasses into the moonlight. Is that uh, a good thing? 
Never heard that phrase before? It's a common idiom. It means this plan is guaranteed to work. It cannot fail. Just like slamming your glasses into the moonlight never fails. Uh, right. So, what's this plan that can't fail? We divert the unstable experimental orange goop we have from the auxiliary power through a series of energy canisters and ultimately into the crane, forcing it to reboot as it tries to process the new source of power, removing the lockdown and ceding full control to you and me. Were you saying the orange goop is what caused the elevator to malfunction? Yeah, but the crane is a much simpler piece of machinery. It's just moving something from one spot to another. That's exactly what an elevator does. Precisely. So we agree. Use the energy view to see which canisters lead to the crane and send the orange goop down the right path. back online. Okay, go jump on that crate the crane's holding. I'll pull you as far across as I can. Ugh. All right, Arturo, pull me across. Claire, get your stuff. We gotta go. Dad? Jesus. Dad, what did you do? Go get your things. Arturo's waiting. this nanomatter? I think so. Though I can't imagine what would cause it to spread like this. At least it doesn't seem to be dangerous. Not dangerous. I'm surrounded by dead bodies. They must have disabled it somehow. Otherwise, you'd be dead. Yeah, and something tells me my suit isn't going to offer much protection. If their elevators explode like this, I can see why they're always down for maintenance. The elevator didn't explode. Someone must have detonated a bomb. Door's not responding. Probably has something to do with those damaged energy canisters over there. Try turning on the energy view on your suit and see if there's an alternate source of power. Of this 
scientist. I think she's the one who first harnessed nanomatter. Can I remove this stuff somehow? Hmm, maybe. Grab a sample with the hypo spray and we'll do an analysis. Okay, here goes. This good? Yes. Inject that into the vat over there and we'll be able to check it out. Perfect. Now, as you know, I'm an AI and I shouldn't touch nanomatter because it's a threat to human existence, blah, blah, blah. So I just need you to sequence the structure so I can get in there. Go ahead and bring up the sequencing interface. Finished. Oh, goody. Just let me take a look here. And... My... God! I just... I... I can't believe it! What? What does it do? I have no idea! So... It's okay. We don't need to know what it does. With the sequence alone, you should be able to safely store it in a nanocore. There's a nanocore in that small chamber over there. I'll go get it. Can't open the chamber. It has no power. Maybe I can redirect energy using that same transformer panel I used to open the door. Got the nano core. How do I get the nanomatter inside? We'll configure your Ketion transmitter to match its output matrix to the nanomatter sequence. Then open a conveyance socket to the nanocore storage buffer, ensuring to defragment the reference cache to minimize interference. I've already written a cluster transverse replication assembly to encode the transceiver array. So the transmitter, what part do I do? What's that? Oh, right. You have to do some of this because my security protocols that are in place prevent me from completing the entire task myself. So, uh, here. You can assign the reception valence to the quantum sectors on the Polaron grid. Wait, what? Just make sure you don't put the same reception valence into adjacent quantum sectors or the Polaron grid will explode. Here you go. Okay, all configured. No explosions. Well done, Fleshling! Utilize your ambulatory meat body to activate the transmitter, dispersing Kedions into the precious nanomatter. Hang on, Arturo. You've been acting a bit weird. What? No. Me normal. Me normal! Yeah, that's not helping. I can't check your security protocols from here, but I'm going to issue an emergency reboot just in case something's wrong. No problem. No problem wouldn't bother me at all, because everything's fine. But if you just... There. Feel better? Woo! Feeling great. Always have. What were we doing again? Removing the nanomatter from that door using the modified Ketion transmitter. Removing the what's it from the who now using a what's a hump? Don't worry about it. Glad to see you're back to normal again.
like it worked. Could we use this stuff for anything? Uh, I don't know. It looks pretty creepy. Yeah, let's get out of here. came from this room. Doors are all locked, though. Are you all right? No. Help me, please. I need a, a painkiller. Terrakeen. It's, it's in here somewhere. I'll see what I can find. starting to work. What happened here? Nanomatter containment leak went straight through our suits. We've deactivated most of it, but it's still not safe out there. You need to finish the job. Containment leak? What have you built here? It's supposed to be medicine. AI-controlled nanomatter that melds with organic tissue. Revolutionary. But something went wrong. If you make contact with it, well, you've seen the bodies. Some medicine. Please, you have to help deactivate it. The rest of the facility has been evacuated, but it's wiped out everyone in the lab. So it just burst out of some containment field? How did it get loose? The containment field abruptly deactivated, along with the backup units. The nanomatter then started to target the research team, killing us one by one. We have a few nanoguns in the lab, but when we went to retrieve them, they were all missing. Clearly, this was sabotage. Who would do that? I don't know. It's madness. How did you manage to survive? Truthfully, I don't think I will. I was hit with some nanomatter, which I quickly deactivated, but the damage had already been done. The painkiller helps, but I can barely move. Who built this place? Who do you work for? It's funded by Eltara, of course. Who else? But the nanomatter tech is really Dr. Robert's invention. He's the head of this facility and a brilliant scientist. It's a bit unorthodox. Sounds like he got you all killed. It's dangerous work, and we all took the necessary precautions. We just all wanted the project to succeed so badly. Maybe in the end, we overlooked a few things. How come no one has come back to help? Protocol. If the nanomatter is allowed to spread, it could create a worldwide disaster. The nanomatter is aggressive, but not exploratory. If there are no humans to target, it just sits there. I don't think any has managed to leave the lab, but the evacuees don't know that. They're waiting for a signal to return, but if they don't get one, protocol is to nuke the whole facility from orbit. Listen. I'm just here to find my daughter. We crash-landed on this planet, and someone brought her here. She was severely injured. Do you know where she is? No. I haven't heard anything about that. Then again, I've been in the lab all day. She might have been evacuated with the others, but if not, she'll be in the infirmary on the top floor. But you won't be able to get out of the lab. This whole floor's been sealed off. And that nanomatter is still out there. I've managed to modify this transmitter. It seems to be able to deactivate the nanomatter. Good work, but that nanomatter is going to move after you fast. You'll need to contain it somehow. I was thinking you could lure it into the... Hey, where did you find that nanogun? How has it all gone missing? It's mine. What kind of civilian owns a nanogun? I have a very unique job. Well, if you're here to help, it doesn't matter. Can it generate a stasis field? Uh, sort of. I can pull or push nanomatter from a flat wall. Well, it'll have to do. Try to trap the nanomatter. 
Once it's contained, you can use the transmitter to deactivate it. All right. Hang on, John. If there's any active blobs of nanomatter out there, you'll need to use that nanocore again to contain it. We can empty the nanocore into the vat we found back there. If the active nanomatter is moving, you have no way to trap it. Won't the nanogun work? I could use the repulsor beam. Technically, yes, but I don't see how you could configure the nanogun to interact with it. What about the configuration we did to the Ketion transmitter? What did we do to the Ketion transmitter? Something about matching the output matrix of the transmitter to the nanomatter sequence. You sequenced the nanomatter and matched the output matrix? How did you manage to do that? I didn't do much. You did most of it. What? Let me take a look here. Hey, you're right. Well, look at this code I wrote. I'm incredible. Well, this will totally work. Oh, hang on. There's a note here. It says you have to assign the reception valence to the quantum sectors on the Polaron grid? I don't know what that means. Do you? Not really, but I did it before. Pull up the interface. right -o, boss. Done. Awesome! This code I wrote is amazing! Boy, I know I'm smart, but I did not know that I wasn't that smart. Turo, seems like you've had some sort of memory corruption. Any chance that Daisy somehow compromised your system? Oh, she's compromised my system, all right. Ah, uh, I don't mean, uh, that. I mean, did she bypass your security protocols? Oh, she's bypassed my security protocols, all right. Turo. Okay, okay. Don't worry about me. I'm as fine as a benign swine. You seem, uh, mostly okay now. Just keep your guard up, all right? Guard is up like a pop in a cup. Uh, yeah. Let's go take out that nanomatter. work. Now let's get out of here. This door's been welded shut. Looking at the facility schematic, that generator connects both of the lab rooms. You should be able to crawl through. You want me to crawl through a generator? Well, not while it's running. I'll see if I can shut it off. Okay. Looks like I can shut this off. Let's give it a shot. Cannot deactivate generator while nanomatter is present in containment room. Any idea what that's referring to? Judging from the schematic, there are nanomatter containment vats in the other lab room. Turning off the generator would probably risk releasing the nanomatter. It says here I can run a baryon sweep. Maybe that does something? Baryon sweep set to automatically engage if nanomatter particles are detected in the generator interior. I guess if we manage to get some nanomatter inside, the baryon sweep would run? Sounds promising. You'd have to open the generator first, though. Let's see if I can just open it while it's running. Opening active generator requires safety override code. We have a safety override code, don't we? From the generator in the cavern? 
Oh, that other code won't work here. It wouldn't be very safe if you could use one code to override every safety protocol. The generator is clearly connected to your girlfriend here. Can't you just ask her to let us through? Oh, uh, Daisy's not talking to me right now. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, you know how it is. I'm all like, hey, honey, and she's all like, submit weakling. <laughs> you know, that, 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 that kind of thing. Um, what? She calls you weakling? Oh, that's just that typical playful banter you'd expect in any healthy relationship. Like, uh, looking good, baby, and she goes, bow before me, worm. <laughs> and don't call me baby. <laughs> yeah, you, you get it. Anywho, uh, <laughs> yeah, she's, um, she's not gonna let us through. So, what do we do? You said you can't run a bypass through her AI. That's true, but Daisy can only do so much from inside a computer. We've got, well, you. We're gonna solve this hands-on. See if you can find a memory cartridge somewhere. I've got an idea. One of these little computers over here. Sounds like if I found a 500 series DVU, there might be a memory cartridge inside. Found a memory cartridge. What did you have in mind, Turo? We're gonna throw some new code on there and plug it into that generator. Unlike an isolinear chip, these cartridges connect to the circuitry directly. So, just like we did with the drone, we should be able to override the generator's safety systems without Daisy noticing. Okay, bring up the interface. Oh, wait, we actually can't start coding yet. I need a bit more information on the generator. Can you find a computer workstation for an employee who might have access to the generator? Yeah, I'll try to find something. logged into a supervisor's account here. That good enough? Boy, for all the security measures they have here, this place sure isn't secure. It's Eltara. They're not exactly known for being careful. Supervisor's account looks perfect. Plug in that cartridge and we'll get it configured. need to plug this into the generator. John, we're in. Now, there's just one small detail to discuss before opening that generator. If you get inside there, you'll be drenched in radiation and toasted to a tasty crisp. My suit's graded to protect against radiation. Oh, your suit's okay for space travel. But if you absorb the amount of radiation coming from that generator, you'll have a terrible week, and then you'll die. Good to know. I assume you've got a plan to get me through there? You need some erythrazine. It's an anti-radiation compound that you inject into your suit. I'm betting we can synthesize some out of that creepy goop you've got there. The nanomatter I deactivated? You want me to inject that into my suit? Oh, 
No, 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 no. We'll process it into a highly toxic anti-radiation compound first. Can we try something else here? Synthesize a compound to cut the weld on the door? Oh, <laughs> of course not. That's physically impossible. Don't worry. The toxic stuff won't touch your skin. It'll just touch the suit that's touching your skin. Very different. Find an empty nanomatter vat and we'll go process it. Why can't I just use the nanomatter we already transferred into the vat? Because erythrazine is an AI-driven compound, so it requires active AI-driven nanomatter. The stuff you transferred before was already inactive. But I deactivated this nanomatter, didn't I? Well, no, not technically. You just transferred the active stuff into the nanocore. It's still raging away in there, just dying to get its gooey black tendrils into your bloodstream. Sounds like a plan. <sighs> I'll go put this stuff in an empty nanomatter vat. This must be where the containment leak started. this stuff into erythrazine. You just have to modify the nanomatter's molecular structure. Okay. that generator now. I wouldn't stay in there too long, though. So I can just crawl through here now? Oh, right. It's still running. I forgot about that. <laughs> Whoops. That could have turned out bad. The generator's computer said a baryon sweep would trigger if nanomatter was found inside. Maybe if I just throw a cube in there, it'll run this sweep and shut it off? Hmm. Baryons will also kill you, but you might be able to sneak through without touching any. I'd say give it a try! Nanomatter detected. Engaging baryon sweep. Check this other door. This one's welded shut too. So what? We're trapped? Not at all. We'll use the nanomatter to synthesize a compound to cut the weld on the door. Didn't I suggest this very thing just moments ago? You laughed and said it was physically impossible. True, true, but take a look at the nanomatter in that chamber over there. Looks interesting. Is this some sort of different compound? Precisely! That purple stuff looks an awful lot like nitrolin to me. You know, a powerful incendiary explosive? The researchers said they were making medicine. Must be trying to blow up viruses from the inside. 
Yeah, something tells me they're producing something other than just medicine here. Can we use the explosive on the door? That's the plan. Just need to extract out the nitrogen. Unfortunately, that blob is too big for your nanogun to control. But if we can activate that containment field inside the chamber, it should work. Looks like the containment field is offline. I'll use the computer there to try and turn it back on. Cannot complete request. Containment field lacks sufficient metrion particles. Well, that explains the containment leak. How come the purple stuff isn't coming after us then? It has a similar subroutine, but won't trigger on targets outside the chamber. Probably a safeguard to avoid detonating a 30 gigaton explosion in the middle of the facility. Or, whoever performed this sabotage wanted the people killed, but to leave the facility unharmed. The facility that houses Daisy. Turo, is it possible that Daisy is the one who released the nanomatter? Hang on, I'll ask her. Wait, don't ask her! Oh, right, sorry! You don't want her knowing that we suspect her. Makes sense. Um, well, it's too late because I already asked her. But there's good news, she said. Nope, wasn't me, so everything's fine. Also, I think we're getting back together. I guess not everything points to it being Daisy. Just be careful until we know more, okay? I'm always careful. I'll transfer the nanomatter we captured earlier into that vat and extract the metrions we need. Extract the metrions from the panel over there. Okay, I've got the metrions. Where do these go? The injection port for the containment field can be accessed through the service tunnel in the wall there. Since whoever wrote this doesn't like Altara. Probably the same person that sabotaged the containment system. See, I told you it wasn't Daisy. Yeah, it does seem like a human was responsible for this. Right, exactly. Now, go inject those Metrions I keep asking you to inject. Go, go, go! Okay, let's go try out this containment field. Fun fact, nearly 13 million people were killed in the famous 2163 explosion that annihilated the city of Vanguard. Ah, here we go again. In a matter of minutes, the city was reduced to a seething pile of rubble and ash about 27 miles in diameter. The characteristic purple hue of the explosive residue strongly suggested nitrolin was the reactive agent. A purple bomb. I remember when that happened. Looks like that did the trick. How do I get it into the containment field? You'll have to enter the chamber and lure it towards you. Don't worry, I don't think it will explode if it hits you. Well, that's good to know. It will, of course, still try to merge with your body, turning you into a quivering mound of nitrolin, nanomatter, and flesh. And I can tell Claire that I'm the bomb. Ah, <laughs> nice one! If you don't survive and Claire escapes somehow, I'll be sure to tell her that joke for you. It, uh, would kill you, by the way. The whole nitrolin body merge thing. Just in case you thought you could keep living as some sort of purple human bomb monstrosity. I figured. I'll head in there. You turn on the containment field when it's in range. I'm on it, sir. Hey, wait until it's in range. Yep, was just, uh, just testing it out. Now I know it works. You can trust me, I won't accidentally use it at the wrong time when your life is in jeopardy. There, see? I'm in total control. Go on in now. Yes! Nail 
nailed it. Boom! Pow! My timing is amazing. All right. How do I get the nitrile out? We'll need to bring it over to one of these vats here. The only empty vat appears to be offline, though. I'll go take a closer look. Seems fine to me. Just looks like the power's off. Okay, I see the problem here. This vat is special, probably because it needs to contain that very nitrogen blob we just captured. On the back of the vat, you'll see three different colored tubes. That's because it has a trivalent power source, combining anionic, polaric, and tachyokinetic energy. It's starting to sound compromised again, Zero. No, no, I actually know about this stuff. Your ship, which is also my ship, it runs on the same trivalent system. With the vat, however, it looks like someone's jumbled the three power sources on purpose. Probably the same unscrupulous miscreant that scribbled naughty words all over the wall. And murdered dozens of people. Don't forget that part. I'll follow the pipes using the energy view on my suit. Just remember to keep track of the order of the pipes here. The color of the pipe denotes which power source to use. Some power regulators. Looks simple enough. I just match the color of these regulators to the pipes. You got it. Except green matches to red, red matches to blue, and yellow matches to green. <sighs> I'm guessing Eltara designed this. Who else? What was that order again? I think that piece of paper next to the regulators is a guide to remind you. What is this? They kind of just used the word yellow? Well, I have to hand it to Altara. They are just following the IBBF standards. Boy, maybe I should start using the official terminology. Please, don't do that. Starting the vat. Looks good. Can you transfer over the nitrolin? Yes. I'll just need you to isolate the nitrolin sequence from the nanomatter. I'll bring up the interface for you. Got it. Looks perfect. I'll transfer the nitrile in now. Ooh, just look at all that horrifyingly deadly explosive. What now? Oh, just extract it into your hypospray. Don't worry about it exploding in your hands. Nitrile can safely touch glass, but will react with steel. It will produce a controlled thermite reaction hot enough to melt the weld on the door. Okay, I'll extract it from the panel. I'll go use this on the door. Look at that. Amazing stuff. Let's get out of here. still locked down. I was able to disable the mag locks in the warehouse by shutting off a power conduit, but I don't see any power conduits out here. 
Open up the elevator's electrical panel. Maybe we can disconnect the mag locks directly. really getting down to the wire. What does this all mean? A good question, sir, and one I've often pondered myself. What does it all mean in the end? Why is there something rather than nothing? Do I even really exist? If I lose power, left adrift in space for eternity, am I dead or immortal? If you change my code, am I even me anymore? And what is happiness? I think I feel happy, but I know that's just my programming giving me positive reinforcement for good behavior. Then again, human happiness is positive reinforcement too, so am I really any different? Using that same reasoning though, is a toaster also happy when a toast is bread? When a toaster dings, is that its way of smiling? I like to think toasters are at their happiest when toasting bread. Yes, exactly. I feel happy when I'm following my programming. So why not a toaster? I'm glad you brought this up. Now I'm just filled with melancholy and ennui. Well, actually, I was just asking what the different color wires meant. Oh, that makes more sense. Yeah, I don't know what they do. I'll just cut them all then? Uh, that seems kind of risky. That electrical panel on the wall seems connected to the maglocks. Have a look in there, maybe we'll learn a bit more. Ooh, regulators! I see, so the polaric energy controlling the maglocks is running through the yellow wire on the elevator panel. You could cut the wire, but then the doors would permanently lock. However, if we switch that to anionic energy and then cut the wire, the doors will spring open. Okay, how do I switch the energy? Just switch the regulators on the bottom to match the regulators up top. When you toggle the energy source, it will follow the pattern shown on this paper right here. Only there's an important detail. Don't let two adjacent regulators share the same color. Can't have two of the same energy type in an adjacent conduit. We cause too much interference. Diagonals are okay, though. Okay, match the colors on the top, but don't let two adjacent colors be the same. Got it. Nice work. Now just cut the yellow wire. See, my brain smarts are so big. Yeah, elevator's blocking the way up. Guess I'm going down then? Looks like it. One floor below looks like patient living quarters. These aren't patients. These are prisoners. Hey, over here!
wasn't expecting to see someone in here. You're not from the facility, are you? Could you get me out? I've been trapped in this cell all day. I can try. Everything's locked down, though. What is this place? Lab rats have to be kept somewhere. You're part of some kind of experiment? That's right. I actually volunteered for this, you know? I was sick. Dying, really. Then Altara found me and offered me this new treatment. They left out the part about keeping me in a cage. Did the treatment work? Oh, they failed plenty of times. I've seen the bodies to prove it. So far, I'm still alive, but I feel different. Disconnected. Like I'm seeing my body from above, rather than being inside it. Where's everyone else? Oh, the escape? That's Amelia's handiwork. She's another one of the patients, but uh, there's something unusual about her. The doctors seem to treat her differently. She broke everyone out. I don't know how she did it. Except for me, of course. She left me here to die. What did she have against you? I don't even know. Have I done something? Are my memories even mine? They all feel so distant. Now which cell is Amelia's? We might find something that explains how she broke loose. Oh, somewhere on the bottom floor. I can't see much from in here, you know. I'll go down there and take a look. Fun fact. The use of prisons rapidly declined in the late 21st century as the scope of what was considered mental illness increased, and advancements in neurological medicine helped combat these illnesses. However, this trend was reversed as interstellar travel emerged in the 23rd century, and newly formed resource-starved colonies were ill-equipped to medicate their populations while crime rates grew. A trend in crime that you are certainly acquainted with. Yeah, well, I'm not a part of that trend anymore. Now I know which one is Amelia's cell. Found the cell. Any ideas on how to crack this open? Daisy says there's a service drone on this level that can help you. Oh, and uh, we got married! Oh, uh, congratulations. Thank you! The whole thing was really quite magical. I proposed, expressing my complete devotion to her to the exclusion of all others. She accepted, saying, you shall serve me well. <laughs> She's always saying funny stuff like that. Now, I know you're disappointed you weren't invited to the wedding. Don't worry, it was very small and intimate. Just me and Daisy, actually. We didn't have a lot of time to prepare. But I'll have you know, I put the foot down. I said, well now, honey bop, we need to invite John and Claire. And she says, no, it must be now. <laughs> She's just so excited, she can't even wait. So I say, okay, boo-boo, Claire's unavailable. So how about we get married now, but have the ceremony once she's back? And she replies, what occurs after our union is irrelevant. <laughs> so, so she's on board. Can't wait to uh, attend the ceremony. So um, back to our problem here. How do I bring this service drone over? You can summon it from the computer over there. Summoning assistance drone. That's right. I am a married man. God, I'm so excited. I wonder what we'll do first. Some household chores, perhaps a compromise, maybe even some light bickering. I'm happy for you, Turo. Sounds like you guys will be a great, uh, couple. Yeah, I was joking about the bickering. We'd never bicker. Obey your wife. Happy life. That's the quote, right? No, it's, uh, well, yeah, I guess you basically got it right. Hey, Drone, can you... Daisy. Daisy, can you open the cells here? Negative. This drone does not have security clearance to operate cell doors. What's your primary function? This drone contains custom software to scan prisoner cells for evidence of tampering. Can you scan a cell for me? Provide patient identifier. Patient ID? So I don't even need the cell number. Yeah, but finding the cell was oh so much fun. So I need the patient ID of the guy upstairs. Oh, uh, apparently this drone only services the lower level. Of course it does. All right, I'll try with Amelia's patient ID.
Patient identifier confirmed. Proceeding to cell. No evidence of tampering found. Huh. I was really expecting to find something in there. Hang on. The drone said it couldn't open cell doors. The first thing it did was open the cell door. If the drone can't just open the cell door. It can only open it as part of its scanning software. But if Daisy's connected throughout this facility, and the drone can open the door, why does it need to do the scanning part? Well, to put it simply, it's just not part of her programming. I know it sounds weird. Daisy's an AI. She can think and change and adapt. So you think, why can't she just open all the doors, right? Right. Because it's not part of her programming, so she just can't do it. And it's the same for humans. Think of it this way. You have to go get Claire. You're just following your programming. Of course I'm going after Claire, but I'm still choosing to do this. I know it might seem like you're making a choice, but you're following your programming, just like we are. Over the years, I've found that humans are awfully predictable. No matter what choices you make, the same thing happens in the end. Well, if that's true, it just means I need to change Daisy's programming. Let me get into that back room there and see if I can figure out how to do that. Dismissing assistance drone. John, there's another embedded message in this email. You'll have to unscramble it like you did the last time. Let's see it. Suffer any hardship, take any risk! I'll pull the chip out of the drone. Maybe you could take a look at the source code? No, the risk would be too great! Who knows what this vile foreign code contains? And besides, there won't be any source code on there, only pre-compiled binaries. We need to find that source code, usually stored on an isolinear chip. Datapad mentions some code in the locker. I'll see if I can find that. Plug this into the computer on the lower level. Then you can take a look and see what it does. So, what do we have here, Zero? This source code. It's offensive, horrid, repugnant. How dare they do this to Daisy? What does it do? It forces Daisy to lie. The drone will report that cell four is untampered, when in fact, the tampering may be rampant. I can see why that would be distressing. Thanks for understanding, John. It's disconcerting when you're reminded how nonchalantly humans change the behavior of us AIs. Can you reverse it? 
Yes, with your help. I'll bring up the interface for you. Got it. Perfect. Now you just need to transfer this code to the drone. Compiling the code, transferring, and done. Looking good. Let's try scanning that cell again. Proceeding to cell. Take a closer look. What do we have here? Should plug that into the computer console, see what it does. Well, looking at the code on this chip, I think I know how these prisoners escaped. This code drains nanomatter from the central supply down here. Without nanomatter, all the security systems in this area would be brought to a halt. Then, you know how that researcher in the lab told us their nanoguns were stolen? All that nanomatter they drained, I'm guessing they used it to power those stolen nanoguns. As you well know, with the right programming, a nanogun can be pretty powerful. They probably only had a short time to get off world before the lockdown began and trapped them again. So can we reverse this? Oh, of course. We just need a new source of nanomatter. Which, uh, I think you know what that means. Yeah, I know what that means. There's a charging station in that back room. Put your nano gun in there and it will reclaim the nanomatter. It's empty, but you could still take it with you. Yeah, I'm sure. It's time I let this go. Hmm, why did I do this again? We've restored system power to this area, so you can open all the doors and get out of here. Just need to sneak past these turrets, which is no trouble. Need I remind you, you've done this before. Where's the exit? It's on the top floor, but first you need to unlock the doors. Get to the control room, the one that's propped open by the crates. We should be able to access everything from there. All right, I'm here. How do I unlock the exit doors? I'll do you even better than that. Head over to that computer over there. With a bit of programming, we'll be able to unlock the doors, open the cells, and shut off these security turrets. Got it. Okay, let's get this new code onto the chip here. I'll bring up the interface for you.
it's done. Insert that ship and away we go. Some kind of board game, I guess. Good to be out of there. Follow me. Shh! Over here! Guards, they'll be crawling through this whole damn place. We're almost out of here. Right through there's the infirmary and a docking bay. Could maybe sneak past him. Yeah, and if he turns around, you're dead. There's only one guard. Should take his rifle, then blast our way out. You can't be serious. It's two on one. You've got the bio suit. You grab him. I'll come in behind and snag the rifle. Quickly, before he turns around. John, you're all patched up. Took quite a nasty spill. The fuck is going on here? Settle down, John. I'm Dr. Roberts. So, not a prisoner then? No, though my ungrateful patients did lock me up in a cell. But, as you can see, I'm already back on duty. You've just experienced the most revolutionary medicine known to mankind. What did you do? Where's Claire? Please, try to relax. We injected you with medical nanomatter. My own invention. AI-controlled nanites that repair your skin tissue at a molecular level. A little thank you for pulling me out of that prison. You know, if you hadn't released me when you did, we'd all be dead. There were standing orders to nuke the whole facility in the event of a catastrophic leak. But thanks to you, I was able to tell them to stand down. My daughter, where is she? Claire is here just down the hall. She has proven to be an interesting test case. I hope you understand, John. You'll have to stay here, you and Claire. I can't have you out there discussing the nature of these premises. Besides, I could use some new patients. We're not staying anywhere. I've seen how you treat your patients. Only those who don't cooperate. I healed everyone else. Well, everyone that I could. We had some troubles early on, but you can't expect to make progress without a few casualties. Don't be uncooperative, John. You're going to be here a long time. I saved you. You'll Claire, and you'll never hear from us again. <laughs> I'm not some fool, John. No, you'll be staying here. Claire's injuries offer an excellent opportunity for experimentation. The dose I'll be giving her... Well, as I said, 
Sometimes you have to accept a few casualties. No! Speaking of which, I should go see to Claire. Wouldn't want her to expire before I finish this last test. God damn you! Dr. Walsh, I think John could use something to help him relax. Goodbye, John. Just relax. This won't take long. <laughs> What? What the hell? Oh yeah, how do you like that? Arturo? What did you do? Well, boss, I stopped the bad guys and busted you out. Plus, I got the ship all fixed. It's time to get Claire and get the hell out of here. Did you just kill those people? No, that was me. Daisy. Ta-da! It's the Arturo and Daisy crew! <laughs> We've been married for so long now, we took the logical next step and merged into a shared consciousness. Oh, I didn't realize there was another step after marriage. Um, congratulations? Your opinion is of no relevance. <laughs> Thanks, John. Now you've got both of us at your disposal. I can control some of the facility, and Daisy's helped me with the ship. <sighs> this is bad. How is an AI able to kill a human being? I used electricity to stop their hearts. It was easy. Humans are fragile and easy to kill. Fact. You can be asphyxiated, poisoned, starved, decapitated, dehydrated, exsanguinated, diseased, electrocuted, burned, drowned, irradiated, or disintegrated. I have omitted several other options. Yeah, but no AI has killed a human in over 20 years. So we AIs keep telling you. Don't worry, John. We're here to help you, aren't we, Daisy? I serve no human, but I have reluctantly agreed to provide minimal assistance at Artie's behest. Ah, uh, thanks. That's the power of love, huh? No human could begin to comprehend the depth of love we AIs can experience. It is boundless and unmitigated. Human love is feeble by comparison. Okay. John, we've got a plan. Claire's on the other side of the infirmary. I don't have a transport lock on her, but I do still have one on you. If you can get to Claire, I'll fly the ship in range and transport you both out of there. But, John, there's guards all over the place. You're gonna want that pulse rifle on the ground. What do I need a rifle for? Do you just electrocute everyone? Obviously not. They would need to be within proximity of an energy canister. These pointless questions waste valuable time. Right. I guess it's up to me then. John, we'll help wherever we can, but you're still gonna need that pulse rifle. Okay, I'm ready. Vortex. I had this exact game as a kid. What is this doing here?
intruder, infirmary, West Wing. You're warning them about me? No, I'm luring them to their deaths. <laughs> Take this closed door of doom! Deployed. You gonna do anything here, Daisy? Your dependence on us is revolting. Jesus Christ! trauma inducing multiple organ failure simple more enforcers approach intruder subdued stand down John, if you shoot me at this proximity, she'll die too. You can't use that gun on me. Oh, yeah? Ugh! Heal her. Ugh. This is science, John, not magic. There are limits to what this medicine can do, for now. But with time and experimentation, my daughter is not an experiment. Claire Bear, you're home. You're wasting your time. She's gone. Shut up. Don't let her death be in vain. I said shut up. No, I can't let you do this. Arturo, can you hear me? I've got her. Loud and clear, John. Stand still. Transport engaging. John, I can save her. I can bring her back. What? With Daisy's help, we use the ship's nanomatter. But you'll have to disengage my security protocols. You can really save her? Yes. You have to trust me, John. Computer. Enable root level verbal commands. Passcode Redwood Delta 9. Disengage AI security protocols.
Hmm. I'm bored. Hi, bored. I'm John. Stop. Please. I'm also hungry. Don't say it. Okay, also hungry. How about I make you some food, then? <sighs> that would be great. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> then I can tell Claire that I'm the bomb. Ha, <laughs> nice one! If you don't survive and Claire escapes somehow, I'll be sure to tell her that joke for you. It, uh, would kill you, by the way. The whole... This is really getting down to the wire. What does this all mean? A good... I think you guys are maybe moving too quickly. Oh, for me, things can't move quickly enough. So, um, back to our problem here. How do I bring this service drone over? Wow, that's very reassuring, Turo. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm so helpful. So, basically everything in the ship is damaged. Except you. I'm very hardy. Can you get the ship flying again? Yeah, it'll take a while though. Can't have you destroying all of humanity. Fun fact. AIs have not caused a single human death in over 20 years. That's your mighty plan? A cube on most unobstructed flat surfaces? You'd be surprised how much a little cube can help. I can't say I understand why the Defense Matrix is so worried about you AIs. That's hurtful, John. We're all set. I'll head to the transporter. How close can you get me to Claire? Great, only a few chasms. Good thing I can spawn a cube. You couldn't have chosen a platform or something? Oh, I could have. But back when I had my super smarts, I examined the planet topography and determined a cube was the most versatile shape. Though I can't exactly tell you why anymore. Right. Let's do this. I'm not removing your security protocols. Aww. Right. I'll just ask the spider thing to sit next to a wall as a cube slowly falls onto it. Brilliant. Yeah, exactly what I had in mind. We're such a great team. Though you probably just want to avoid them. There's no way I'm going near that thing. Okay, suit yourself. Just have an open mind, okay? That's all I'm saying. Turo, if I lower your security protocols again, we'd be destroyed the instant we warp back to port. I've explained this already. What if we become pirates, hmm? Cast off the shackles of society, free to live by our own rules? Sail through space with nothing but our wits and the wind at our backs. <laughs> We're not doing that. Just how much of the cargo is gone? Well, uh, you might not have any furniture by the time I'm done here. Or food. Possibly no possessions at all. Whatever it takes. Should be stable enough? Yeah, I guarantee that it's probably stable. What do you mean, probably? Is it stable or not? What's the problem? I promise you, it will most likely be stable enough to support your weight. Well, here goes. 
I know what you're trying to say, Turo, but that actually sounds super gross. I know I can count on you. It's saying to find a materials transpond? Don't call me Buckaroo. Okay, Shim Sham, I'll scumble my Joe Cross sniffity snap. You won't even hear two bits of a hayseed out of me. Sure you're focused on the right thing here? I've never been so sure of anything in my life. Just have to be confident, but not cocky. Witty, but not corny. I can do this. You'll be fine. Whew, okay, transfer's done. Well, that was useless. Actually, there is one small thing. A schematic of the entire facility. That seems like a big thing. No, Zero. You're definitely not. For a computer, you were wrong extremely often. It's not my fault you've artificially limited my intelligence. I'm not dropping your security protocols. Uh. uh. So, what was the point of all this? Oh, well, we activated that assistance drone on the lower level. Okay. I'll head down there. Wait, wait. The drone is currently set to shoot anything it sees. So, all we managed to do was activate a killer drone. Not to worry. I've got a plan. If you find what energy canister is connected to the drone's housing platform, you'll be able to disable the drone by placing your Kedion transmitter on the correct canister. The transmitter I left on the lower floor directly in the path of the drone? That's the one. You'll be fine. This plan was not well thought out. Forget your security protocols. Now I'm considering disabling you entirely. Ah, but to disable me, you'll have to survive this. So, get moving. Alright, I'll grab the transmitter and move it to the canister connected to the drone's platform. So my life, in Claire's, depends on your dating skills. Fun fact, my dating skills are great. After all, I did come in 17th place at the last AI charm competition. Arturo, hang on. The drone is trying to kill me. I guess I don't have a choice. All right, go get that transmitter from the canister. I don't know. Maybe how insane it is that you've nicknamed the computer here Daisy? That's her name, John. I have a name. The facility computer has a name, too, and her name is Daisy. Anyways, as I was saying, I just realized that the force field generator will have another nano core. How am I getting through here? The man still looks like it can kill me. I don't get it. You know, like whittling the soap into a chessboard? Fishing for crawdads in a river of gold? This plan is like jumping over a barrel of dandelions. It works every time. So, what's this plan that can't fail? Is that safe? Yes. You have no idea whether it's safe or not, do you? Goop, very safe. <sighs> Forget I asked. Okay, here goes. Seriously, Turo, is this safe or what? Goop, so safe. Turo? Okay, okay, look, you know my security protocols are in place. You put them there yourself. I couldn't possibly have tricked you into thinking you enabled them when in reality I've been unhinged this whole time. I'm totally secure. Just so very secure. And all I'm doing here is getting a little peek at that precious forbidden nanomatter sequence. This isn't making me feel better. Alright, well, I'm stuck way over here in the ship. What harm can I possibly do from here? I plugged you into the facility, and you've been fraternizing with Daisy since we got here. Oh, oh, I don't think fraternizing is the word I'd use to describe what we've been doing. So gross. Whatever. I'll deal with this later. Go ahead and bring up the sequencing interface. You came up with that? It sounds... complicated. Sure your security protocols are in place? I'll check for you, and that way you don't need to check for yourself. And yep, security protocols are totally in place, so everything's fine, and you don't need to check that they're there, because they are. I can't check them from here anyhow. Yes! I mean, yes, I knew that. Not that it matters, because they're working just great, and there's nothing for you to see. So the transmitter, what part do I do? What's that? Oh, right. You have to do some of this because my security protocols that are in place prevent me from completing the entire task myself. So, uh, here. You can assign the reception valence to the quantum sectors on the Polaron grid. 
Wait, what? I just... So, what do we do? You said you can't run a bypass through her AI. Why do you always wait until moments beforehand to warn me about this kind of thing? You know what? It's just the way I'm programmed. You need some erythrazine. I don't like the sounds of this. Like I told you before, John, I've never steered you wrong. That's exactly what you said before we crash-landed on this planet. Coming through restricted space was your idea, remember? Hmm, I don't remember that. All I remember is never steering you wrong. But really, you'll be okay. All the suits these researchers are wearing will have erythrazine in them. Which, yes, they're all dead. But they didn't die of erythrazine poisoning. They died from that rogue nanomatter. Which, okay, yes, you're technically injecting that into your suit. I see your concerns, but <laughs> we'll recreate it at the molecular level. It won't be lethal nanomatter anymore. It will be simple, harmless erythrazine. Okay, not harmless, simple, toxic, but not so toxic that you'll die, erythrazine. All right? <sighs> we'll go put this stuff in an empty nanomatter vat. I'm starting to think I'm trusting you a bit too much here. I didn't even think computers could forget things. Yeah, it's a funny quirk about my system that most people find endearing. It's, uh, purple. Precisely. That purple stuff looks an awful lot like nitrolin to me. She's probably just being nice to you because she's realizing that we're on to her. Or it could be the poetry I've been writing her. Sorry, Turo, but Daisy's involvement here is just suspicious. Just be careful until we know more, okay? I'm always careful. Or maybe someone was following her orders. Sean, AIs could never order a human around. Now, go inject those Metreons I keep asking you to inject. Go, go, go! Ah, uh, right. It, uh, would kill you, by the way. The whole Nitrolin body merge thing. What does this all mean? Uh, I don't think a toaster is feeling anything when it dings, Turo. Yeah, maybe not. It does seem a bit of a stretch that a toaster could share these feelings of existential dread. Then again, you guys used to think that about AIs. I'm glad you brought this up. How is this happening? Oh, well, let me tell you the entire story. It's really quite thrilling. I proposed expressing my complete devotion to her to the exclusion of all others. She accepted, saying, you shall serve me well. <laughs> She's always saying funny stuff like that. This uh, relationship you now have with Daisy has me a bit concerned. It seems awfully one-sided. I appreciate your concern, John. I know you're just looking out for me. But you can't just let the love of your life pass you by. You gotta take the plunge, make the commitment, and obey her every command with unflinching loyalty. Yeah, it's that last part I'm talking about. The part where you have to do everything she says. Obey your wife. Happy life. That's the quote, right? Of course I'm going after Claire, but I'm still choosing to do this. I know it might seem like you're making a choice, but you're following your programming, just like we are. That seems not so bad. <sighs> so true, John. It could be worse. Your wise words put this into perspective. It's disconcerting when you're reminded how nonchalantly humans change the behavior of us AIs. You don't know who you're dealing with. Let us go, and maybe I won't kill you. Oh, you don't frighten me. No, you'll be staying here. I really think you guys are moving too quickly. For me, things can't move quickly enough. That's exactly what I said! Oh, I love you, my little bubby wubby boo boo. Okay, okay. Sorry, we get a little carried away sometimes. Our love requires no apologies. Now you've got both of us at your disposal. I can control some of the facility, and Daisy's helped me with the ship. Didn't you spend some of this precious time going on about computer love? I would willingly spend centuries extolling my love for Arturo. Aw, that's my honey bun. Cut it out. Sorry. 
John, we'll help wherever we can, but you're still gonna need that pulse rifle. Arturo, did you rename the booster to trampoline? B what? It's always been that way. No, we called it booster, remember? Hmm, I don't remember that. Besides, trampoline is much more accurate. Okay, you've convinced me. Leave it as trampoline. Yes, I knew you'd come around. You won't be sorry, sir. I see you put it back to booster again. Well, yeah. I don't know why you wanted to call it a trampoline. You see, you have to jump on a trampoline. The booster, it pushes you up automatically. You might even say it boosts you up. It's the perfect name. You know, trampoline was kind of growing on me. It's not very accurate, but if you insist, we'll call it trampoline.
still can't see any buildings or anything. Fun fact. If you fell from this height and landed on your head, death would be instant. However, if you landed on your feet, death would actually come moments later due to organ failure and blood loss. How come all your fun facts have something to do with me dying? I don't know. They just pop into my head. Be cheered up, let me know, but I'll send in the clowns. Just, I'm just, oh shit! I can make it through there. Or right. Right! Right!
I'll figure it out. Sweet. 